Hi guys, this video is basically where you should be approximately eight months before your exams. I'm doing it now in September because most of the people I know that watch this channel are sitting their exams in June. Sorry if you're not one of the people, hopefully you're still finding it useful. But the reason I wanted to do this is I kind of wanted to talk about your long-term plan and how you should be approaching your work because I know your GCSEs seem so far away but if you do these few steps now you'll find the whole process way easier when it comes to exam time and I don't want you all panicking because I know that's the worst thing about GCSEs, everyone panics, they've got so much information to learn, everyone feels like they can't do it and hopefully if you follow these steps you'll find it way more straightforward. So first of all I wanted to start by saying something really obvious and a bit teacherish, you need to start taking it seriously now from today. You need to be in your lessons, listening, absorbing. If you're one of those people that's prone to messing around, being the class clown, answering back to teachers, you're just gonna have to try and behave because you need to absorb as much information as you can now because it will make all that revision so much easier in the future if you were listening in the first place. Because your GCSEs are important, I know you know that, please don't find me patronizing, but they're so important and and like, yeah, I mean, you're nearly 16, you're nearly adults. If you use this year and make the most of it and get the grades you want, then the whole world is your oyster. You can get any job you want. So yeah, please focus at school, try your best. And that's my first tip, really. Start taking it seriously now. My second tip is if you know you've missed out any lessons or you've missed school for an extended period of time because of illness or holidays or whatever reason you might have, what you need to do is make sure you've caught up on all your work because there's nothing worse starting revising at Easter time knowing that you've not even covered an enzyme because really revision is about recapping your work, not doing it for the first time. So it's really important you go and fill in any of those gaps, whether that's going to tie down a teacher um, before school, after school, during break, lunch. I know neither of you will want to do it particularly, but honestly, it will make such a difference if you make the effort to fill in those gaps. Obviously watch some of my videos if you'll find that they'll help you fill in the gaps. Whatever you do, fill in the gaps. The next point I wanted to make was I want you to get a bit more familiar with your spec. Um, so that could literally just mean getting your CGP revision guide out, looking down the contents page, just running your finger along and just make sure you know, yes I've studied enzymes, I know there are a bit about speeding up chemical reactions, I might not know what a protease does, I might not know where lipase is made, but the crucial thing is, you're vaguely aware of what an enzyme is. And if you just go down, looking at the list, just making sure that you're familiar with the information so that those foundations are laid. Again, if you're not familiar, if you think you've missed it, just go back, talk to your teacher, watch my channel, read a textbook. Just fill in those gaps. Because you don't want to come to exam time and have no idea on a topic. Because it really stresses me out when people message me. And they've been watching my electrolysis video two hours before the chemistry exam. Electrolysis is a hard topic. I don't want people learning it two hours before the exam, stressing themselves out. If you get it sorted now, make sure you're comfortable with it and then you can just recap when it comes to exam time and you'll find the whole thing way less stressful. Because at the end of the day, all these tips are about is to make sure that in those weeks leading up to exams that they're as stress-free as possible. Because I stressed myself out stupid when I was preparing for my exams and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. And also to do with that, I want you to not do any hardcore revision now, but I want you to have hopefully decided how you're going to approach revision, whether that's using your class notes that you've written at school or if it's using a revision guide or a textbook. It doesn't matter what you do, there's no wrong or right way, but I hope you've got that sorted. So that's really it. It's not a long video. If you, Can you let me know in the comments if you find these sorts of um, videos useful and I'll try and make some more. But yeah, good luck with all your work, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh, electrolysis. Why is there a wasp in the room? Oh, my gosh. Don't come near me. Can you hear it? Ah! No, oh, I've got to go. Go away. It's on the camera. Go out the window. How did you even get in here? Can you hear it? It's still in here and I'm freaking out. Where's the cat when you need her? Although too fat might stink her. Okay, the window's right there, wasp. Go out. What is it? Is it even a wasp? It'll be so embarrassing if it's a hoverfly. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh my 
goodness, panic over, wasp gone, why am I such a baby and I'm really bad.